Now that we know how to create channel references, we will learn how to create our own custom user interface parameters. This can be very useful to control our tools or to generate our own variables to later control certain aspects of our tools or our setups. For example, with my box node selected, I will click on this gear icon on the parameter window and click on the edit parameter interface. So here we can see a list of all the parameter channels for this box. For example, the size, the uniform scale, axis, divisions, etc. So to the left, we have all the type of parameters that we, we can create. Uh, in this case, I will click on the float parameter and click on this right arrow. And now we have a new parameter for the box. It's called uh, label, which is not very useful. I will change the, the name to size multiplier. The name of that parameter I will change to size mult. So this name will be the channel name whereas this will be the label that the user will see in the interface. I will also drag this parameter near the size channels and click Accept. So notice now we have this new parameter called size multiplier. But for now it's, it's, no, it's not doing anything, it's, it's of no use. So for it to work or for it to be useful to us, we will channel reference this value. So I will right click and copy parameter and just multiply the height of the box by this channel. So I will right click and paste relative references. So now this value will serve as a multiplier for the overall height of the column. This can be very, very useful uh, to generate much more complex setups. We could even uh, control the channel of one object with a channel of other objects.